Bruce D. Jackie Dunks, and now tis the season for the savages, <laughs> and not to be like, and don't get it fucked up, because uh, word to the Chirac five-star war general, guns on the dinner table in case the ops come in the drive through there ain't never a season for that, but now tis the season to actually sign new free agents and gain new alliances in the war in Chirac, and especially for a savage like uh, uh, the five-star war general, he gotta get rid of this loyal niggas around him who's sending the cops to his house and busting him for his pipes. Now let's recap the beef between all the savages that squash their shit. Now we're talking about Super Savage King Louis. He squashed his beef with Baphomet. Baphomet also squashed his beef with the top three goons out of Gwinnett County. And now this. The Chirac Five Star War General is squashing his beef with King Louis. Now King Louis, he he's two for two. Squash beef with fucking Baphomet and the Chirac Five Star General. That's pretty good. Now Let's recap this hooligan beef. Now, the Chirac five-star war general, he's the leader of OTF. King Louis, he leads his Mubu gang in the war in Chirac. Now, the last I remember, they had a fucking messy-ass fight that T when T.I. tried to organize some type of get-together that he could give the savages some fucking new clothes, some new cool gear, and they had a fucking messy-ass fight. Now, it bled into the street, and the last thing I remember seeing on video was, uh, the scorekeeper of Chirac, yes, that's Mubu Crump, he was actually Falcon Punch during the melee. Which, by the way, I gotta check the score because uh, it gotta be like a tie game at this point. It probably, they probably got too tired of too much fucking overtimes and probably said, listen, man, let's just fucking squash this shit. But anyway, the three savage leaders in the fuckery in Chirac, they're calling it quits. And it'll be interesting to see if this affects the crime rate. Remember when uh, fucking Baphomet or Chief Keefe said he was going to put out some fuckery mixtape and it was supposed to raise the crime rate? Well, I'm hoping squashing beef actually lowers it. Society needs this shit. Right now, people are protesting over Eric Garner and even Mike Brown. We don't need more fucking savages murdering other savages. Slow down on that shit, at least for a little bit. Come on. Now... Still, keep, keep that nigga, uh, the nigga with the rocket launcher, keep that motherfucker in jail because I don't think he has no other marketable skills other than going on kamikaze missions. We don't need him out right now. He don't look like a nigga who doesn't like not killing people. If he ain't killing somebody, I don't think he's having fun. So keep that motherfucker. Anyway, for the other people, because some people are like, all right, the leaders are squashing shit, but then we have the foot soldiers or the niggas who are kind of just like hanging on by the shoelaces to these guys who are just known to be goons. They don't want to squash shit. Well, here it goes. Nobody gives a fuck about them. Nobody gives a fuck about the dusty ass clowns that's hanging on to whatever clout Chief Keith, King Louie, or even a fucking Lil Durk has. And plus, Lil Durk has been saying he's been dropping a lot of his on social media. A lot of niggas around him are fucking disloyal. Some of these niggas, they just want the respect of saying, yo, listen, I'm down a ride and they only could get it during beef. Which means they would have to rob somebody or kill somebody. Which means that's the only way they could validate themselves as being important to their bosses. This is why Entourage is, is fucking stupid. So those people, fucking scums. Get rid of them. Now, the people who actually make the music, and the music do influence how people think about these situations, those are the people that matter. So when Chief Keith comes together with a little Dirk, when little Dirk comes together with a fucking King Louie, when King Louie comes together with a Chief Keith, it's great. It's great for music and hopefully it's great for, for uh, to send a message to all the people that's living like, yo, you could actually just mend your differences. You could actually squash it. Doesn't have to always end in you catching a fucking body. So listen, man, hopefully this will lead to the coonery going down and hopefully it'll continue. But we all know right now it's fucking December and all. Everybody's in the fucking house for the most part, except for the savages trying to go on their solo kamikaze missions. And we'll see if this will eventually level out the crime rate, and hopefully it won't pick up in the spring. But of course, this is fucking Chirac, and the war is not over yet. So yeah, get in the comment box, what do you guys think about this? But uh, King Louie and the five-star war general of Chirac, they have squashed it. Weigh in and make sure you guys subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>